Hello friends. So here I am back with my another video. Before we start, I just want to request you to kindly visit my previous video so that you can understand the another part easily. In our first video, we have covered many topics of this chapter. Now, we will move further. I know many of you find economics very complicated but you know there is something which make this subject easy to understand guess what yeah you are right there is graph and diagrams this is our first importance of graphs and diagrams as we will start with this topic number 2 trends that is changes of economic parameters can be understood easily by the use of diagrams and graphs number 3 changes in every sector can be understood easily for example ups and downs in price of products in various sectors number 4 comparison can be easily understood for groups and classes regions sectors etc for example comparison of production of crops in various regions number 5 there are some economic aspects which are difficult to understand but we can make it easy by drawing graph and diagram for example topics like demand curve and price elasticity of demand number 6 there are some difficult principles of economics such as the concept of expansion and contraction of demand Some students may find difficulty while drawing graphs and diagrams or taking scales and measurements of diagram and solving calculation of diagrams regarding data or choosing correct diagram according to the data. So now we will learn about some aspects of diagrams in detail. First of all, we have to keep some points in our mind before drawing a diagram. Number 1 The right type of diagram and graph must be chosen for easy understanding and to make it effective. Number 2, a graph or diagram should be neat and clean and we can use different colors to denote something important. Number 3, to look diagram or graph more appropriate, we must take correct size and scale. Number 4, both the axes like x axis and y axis must be represented clearly. Number 5, we must mention the source of data to make it more authentic that is correct number 6 the statistical calculations can be decided as per diagrams or graphs further we will learn about the types of diagram There are many types of diagrams such as number 1 pictogram number 2 scatter diagram number 3 line diagram number 4 circle diagram number 5 bar diagram number 6 pi diagram the examples of each of the diagram is given below so guys but in detail we will learn about the time based line diagram bar diagram and pi diagram
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियो इफ यू लाइक अवर वीडियो सो प्लीज गिव मी अ थम्स अप एंड शेयर अवर वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलेटिव फ्रेंड्स डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकन फॉर रेगुलर नोटिफिकेशन If you have any query regarding study material so please comment below and let us know how can we help you